The U.S. Assistant Secretary for Africa Affairs, Tibor Nash, has been in Uganda this week as part of his official tour of Africa. He met President Jerry Seven last evening to discuss the U.S.-Uganda relations. Nash spoke to journalists in Kampala before his departure, revealing that America has plans to heavily invest in Uganda and Africa as regards development. He said that for that to happen, African leaders have to put a number of things into consideration. I have to tell the African leaders that if you want American companies to invest their money in your country, then they need to have a positive business environment, which means minimum levels of corruption, fair treatment, honoring contracts, and quite frankly, a good governance environment. The Assistant Secretary, who was accompanied by the U.S. Ambassador to Uganda, Deborah Malik, also commented on current tensions between Uganda and Rwanda and called on to both countries to try and resolve the political impasse. Both of these countries are very positive forces for the regional environment. Regional security is important for both countries. Uh, and we encourage our friends to um, discuss any disputes that they have between themselves. On matters of democracy, the U.S. Assistant Secretary for Africa Affairs refuted claims that the U.S. government is always in support of the opposition. There is always an assumption that the United States of America favors the opposition. You know, there, there's that assumption. And I want to say categorically for the record, and I have said this over and over again, the United States of America does have a candidate in every single election. But that candidate is the process. The process. Now, what, what is the process? We, we, you know, we expect a process that is fair, that is open to participation, that the people have a right to participate in, in the process, uh, you know, opening of political space, those things. The official also spoke on matters of the African Union mission in Somalia, which is also supported by the U.S. government, revealing that although the Al-Shabaab militia is still proving to be a thorn in the foot of Somalia's security forces, they will continue working together to address the issue of instability. Naj, who has served as an ambassador and head of mission in several African countries prior to this appointment, criticized some African countries for their increased fascination with China is that China will build a stadium and everybody says, ah, oh, wonderful, look what China's doing. And meanwhile, in the background, the United States spends half a billion dollars a year on saving a million plus people's lives and it gets no publicity because we just do it over and over and over again, year after year after year. And then you think, okay, if the United States wasn't doing all of this, you know, the health, education sector, who would be sitting in the stadium? You know, I'm sorry, it's, it, it's something that annoys me greatly. Uh, you know, it's very easy to come and, uh, you know, sign a contract and, uh, and increase a country's debt and, you know, build a project and anybody above the uh, class of turning a shovel comes from the other country. American companies are very responsible they genuinely transfer technology, they employ local people, and by the way, Americans don't come then and open a shop to compete with local people. The Assistant Secretary is expected to go to Rwanda before he proceeds to Cameroon as part of the Africa policy agenda for the United States government under President Donald Trump's administration. Sohel Mugabe, NTV, Weekend Edition.